Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to use the FFmpeg multimedia framework to do some various video and audio transcoding and conversions. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in order to use this uh, very famous uh, command line utility we have first to install it. So here I'm using Ubuntu, so in order to install it, I'll use sudo command apt install and the name of my command line tool, which is ffmpeg. Here we go, I have to provide my root password and I have to say yes to continue installing the library, okay? So now it's installed, so we can start using it. Okay, here we go. So here on this current directory, I have a file, a video file called sample.mp4. It's actually a video, for, a video file called sample.mp4, okay? So the first command that I'm going to show you is how to get info about this file. So in order to get information about this file, about this video file, I will use this command ffmpeg minus i and here I have to provide simply the name of my file which is sample.mp4. Here we go. So, as you can see here, we have a bunch of information. So, here there is actually two sections. The first section is related to our FFmpeg tool. It gave me the version, the copyright, and other libraries it uses. And the most interesting uh, part, actually, that gives us information about our file is this metadata section so here you can see the major brand the major the minor version the compatible brands and the encoder and the duration also of our file and the different encoding that it uses okay so if you want to get just actually this metadata section we can provide another option here which is hide banner because the banner is the section which contains info related to our FMMPEG tool. Okay, so now you can see I don't get any more the section related to FFMPEG. We have only a section that contains the metadata about our file. Okay. Another useful command that we can use actually is how to convert a video to a different format okay so let's say that for example i want to convert this mp4 video file to avi so how can i use that so it's simply we use the same command but at the end we have to provide the file format that we want so here i want to convert it to AVI okay so simply I have to give the name of my file here so this command will convert actually this sample.mp4 file to a video.avi file okay and I will hit enter and here you can see at the bottom that the conversion is running so let's check if we get indeed our video.avi file in the same directory, here we go. So you can see I get the video.avi file. So we have successfully converted our mp4 file to avi file. And another option that you can actually add is if you want actually to preserve 
the quality of your video you can actually here add the option minus Q scale zero so this option here will actually preserve the scale of your video so let's name it for example video 2 here this time and here we go so if I do a list of AVIs so now I have two files one for the first conversion and second one for the second conversions okay and if you want to check the all formats that are supported by this FFmpeg command you can use actually this option here minus format okay here we go so you can see here the all different formats the video and audio format that are supported by this library okay so there are a bunch of formats supported by ffmpeg command line tool Okay. Another thing, let's say that you want to remove audio from your video. Okay. So here, my file, which is sample .mp4 contains video and audio. So let's say that you want to remove the audio and you want just to keep the video. How can you do that? So actually, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is to add here the option minus a n then provide the name of the output file so this time I will call it video3.mp4 so this command will actually produce a video file that has no audio in it okay so let's run it here we go at the bar it shows you the progression of the conversion okay here we go now let's list all your mp4 files and indeed as you can see we have our video 3.mp4 that contain just audio without that contains sorry just video without any audio because we have removed it okay another thing that we can do is to convert a video to an audio okay so in order to convert a video to an audio it's pretty simple you have to add here another option minus VN and here you can just provide the name of your mp3 file or audio file so I'll call it just output for example that mp3 so mp3 is an audio file so with this command we converted a video file to just an audio file okay so let's run it and see the result here we go it was pretty fast because the file is pretty small so let's now list mp3 file in our directory and indeed we have only the audio file which we have just created called output.mp3 okay so actually this option here minus vn will disable video recording in our output file so it will produce just an audio file okay and finally you can also change the volume of the audio file of any audio file let's say that you want for example to decrease the volume by half so it's pretty easy also we have to provide here for example our audio file which is in this case output.mp3 and we add option here minus ef okay and between cuts we have to type 
volume equal 0 0.5 because we want to decrease the volume of this output file mp3 file by a half okay and finally we can uh, give the name of the output file output audio file so i will call it for example output 2.mp3 so it's just simple as that here we go let's now see how many mp3 3 5 we have so we have two the output dot mp3 is the original file and output 2 dot mp3 which is the same as the first audio file but with the volume decreased by a half and of course if you want to increase the volume all you have to do here is to change this option here volume equal to 0.5 by for example here 1.5 so here you increase the volume by a half and we'll call for example our output file output 3.mp3 here we go it was very quick because the audio file is very short so let's list our mp3 files and indeed as you can see we have successfully produced output 3.mp3 okay so with this simple command we have succeeded to increase the volume by a half okay so in this video i just showed you some basic basic thing that you can do with this multimedia framework command line tool in linux and of course this command also exists in mac os and also in windows you can use it as we have used it here in linux so that was just a brief introduction how to use this ffmpeg multimedia framework command line tool in linux as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye